Revenge Films. My name is Riku Sukiyama. I went on a graduation trip to a place with a beautiful view with three of my friends from university. This time, we decided that I'd tour them around a place that my family and I often went to and was fond of. It was a place rising in popularity as a power spot, and many families and couple tours came to visit during the travel season. And with that, we were able to reach the view spot. But because we were mid-traveling season, there were so many people and we weren't able to move forward nor see the view. Because my friends looked disappointed, I decided to take them to a hidden spot that we can get to by going through a different, smaller road. Thus, we walked through the muddy grounds that got wet from the rain last night and went into the woods to head to that spot. Little did we know that that was the beginning of our tragedy. After walking for roughly 10 minutes, we finally arrived at the hidden spot. Wow, it's really beautiful. My friends were delighted to see the beautiful view. I'm so glad they like it. But that was when it happened. Whoa! It really is beautiful! I heard a man's voice from behind. When we looked back, there were three men around the same age as us. According to the three, they overheard us talking about the place and secretly followed us. Yeah, uh, this is a nice spot! Camera's rolling now! Oh yeah! With that, the three got their cameras out and started taking videos. Hey, aren't they in camera? They're so in the way. Really? Why don't those ugly bitches go somewhere else? Apparently, they were talking about us. When I thought about it, I too did not want these men to ruin our fun vacation, so we tried to head back. That was when... Huh? I lost my balance and was about to fall off from a cliff that was roughly 10 meters in height. Ah! On the verge of the fall, I was able to grab onto a rock and escape from falling. However, when I looked up, I saw the three morons. Please help me! Huh? Why? I know you look at her faces just now and let out a huge sigh. Oh, rude. The sign into the faces of people you just met. Oh, I'm her. Man, it's because you didn't push hard enough that she's still alive. What, did you hesitate? Even if she died, you could have just said that she stumbled and fell off on her own. Hesitate? Of course not. She was simply too heavy and I couldn't push hard enough. Ugh, none of your business. But it was true that my hands that grabbed onto the cliff hurt because of my weight, and I was about to slip off any time. Ugh, I should have gone on a diet. Repentance always comes too late. This is what it means to regret, huh? That was when. My friends worked as a team and grabbed my arm. They successfully pulled me up from the cliff. But while they were helping me, the men had disappeared from sight. After I was pulled up, I didn't feel like I was still alive. My legs were shaking and I couldn't move from that spot. When we got back to our hotel, it was already night. Even during our check-in, we all didn't have any energy left. Aww, and it was our long-awaited graduation trip. I ruined everything for them. That was when we heard a noisy group come into the hotel lobby. To our surprise, it was the men who pushed me off the cliff. I was shocked. To think I was staying at the same hotel as the people who tried to take away my life. On top of that, our rooms were right next to theirs. Dang. As we expected, the group was obnoxiously loud, hitting the walls and breaking glasses. Although my friends did seem like they were having a good time, they would get startled time to time with the loud noise. I'm so sorry, everyone. We couldn't enjoy the view after all, and I chose to stay at this hotel. I feel like I got you too involved in something messy. I'm really sorry. Why are you apologizing? It's a great hotel. The food was great, and the hot springs were relaxing. That's right. We don't think we got involved into any trouble at all. I put them through all this, and yet they still had to act considerately toward me. I felt so bad for them. That was when we heard one of the boys talk loudly as they went into the hallway to use the bathroom. The view spot video today is getting an incredible amount of views! Oh yeah! It's all thanks to that fatso! She fell off the cliff so she probably isn't alive on Earth anymore, but... <laughs> really, my condolences for her! 
Hearing that, I finally exploded and lost my temper to those morons. I can't take it anymore. I will never forgive them. With that, I decided to visit the moron's room to fight back. But what are you going to do? We won't stand a fight with them. It's okay. I just contacted my uncle right now and he said he's coming. Uncle? Oh, him. Well, that's reassuring. And then, five minutes later, we headed to their room after confirming they were all in there. Who are you? Oh, they reek of alcohol. The girl you guys almost killed this afternoon. Ugh, the ugly fatso from before! You were alive? What? What do you want? We're staying at the room next door, and you're awfully noisy. Can you please be quiet? It's annoying. Ugh, what did you say? Are you an ugly fatso trying to order us around? You've got some nerve, huh? You want to be killed again? Ah, you bitch! Let me hear what you have to say. The person who appeared then was my large uncle, who was 190 centimeters in height, who had a slight, I mean, a really frightening face. Uh, who is this man? The truth was, this hotel was owned by my uncle, who happened to be the chairman of the hotel labor union. That day also, my uncle had gone out for the union meeting, but... My precious niece is in huge trouble! He said as he hurried to help me. Oh, but you made quite a mess, huh? You punched a hole in the doors and windows and poured alcohol all over the floor. And what? There's a crack in the glass! Reparations for the door, windows, the glass, and to change the floors, I believe it'll cost roughly $5,000 for all reparations. On top of that, we won't be able to use the room for one week to fix it. That'll be another $3,000 for the time we can't use the room. So in total, $8,000. We needed you pay that right away. $8,000? There's no way we could do that. Then what? Want me to call the cops? Uh, the cops? Darn! We need to escape! The drunk morons thought they could escape the billing by running away and started to jump out of the window. However, this was the second floor. On top of that, because the building had high ceilings, the room they jumped out of was roughly three stories high. Ah, no! We heard such screams. However, they still tried to escape. Hey, let's go to a different hotel! They said as they ran away. They ran away. Nah, they'll be back soon. As my uncle expected, the morons came back in less than 20 minutes. However, my uncle and I were standing in front of the hotel entrance. Please, let us in. It's so cold. Although it was March, my uncle's hotel was built in a place of high altitude, and it was midnight then. The men were freezing. I didn't think you were sane to go off bare feet with just one piece of clothing in this season. And I'm sure you couldn't book a room anywhere, right? Yeah, no hotel let us in. What do you know, that old man? That was when I revealed my uncle's identity. Because my uncle had sent out a notification to the union members, the three weren't accepted anymore. When they heard that, they stood in a daze. Uh, please call an ambulance at least. I think my leg is broken. Why don't you call it yourself? I don't have connection here. Please, just call an ambulance. But you just left me to die, and you expect us to help you? Quit nitpicking and just call it! Fifteen minutes later. Good! I see some red lights! But what? That's a police car! Then the morons blurred and said, You fat pig! They were furious. Oh? Wasn't the ambulance 911? Shit! You fooled us! After that, the policemen investigated the messed up room and arrested the morons after questioning them at the hotel. After that, I decided to file a damage victim report. The footage of me being pushed off the cliff was recorded in the corner of the video. This became solid evidence, and the morons were arrested for both property damage and attempted murder. On top of that, we found out that they had been disturbing public peace in other places through the videos they had been uploading. The police investigated them about those incidents as well, and they were sentenced to prison. A few 
few days later, their families came to my uncle's place to pay for the damages, but because the three men had no savings, even though they were working, their parents paid my for them. Hearing that from my uncle, I, who was graduating soon, decided in my heart to act the same as a grown up my age. On top of that, I also decided to go on a diet. I don't want anyone like them to call me that so anymore. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.